These are the diaries of a goat farmer, and today I'm I've been called that the farm is an emergency because I was told that one of our goats um, was swollen, and um, ever since yesterday, the go- ever since this morning, the goat was not eating, and the abdomen mm-hmm. was swollen, mm-hmm. and the uh, guys were worried because they say it just woke up like this. So before I went to the farm. Um, I got some stuff after consulting a vet and just rushed to the farm to see what this could be. So as I get to the farm, and as you can see the goat, you can actually see that uh, it's swollen. You can actually see that the abdomen is swollen. So let's test and see. So I'm just gently tapping it. Can you hear that sound? Let me... I don't know if you can hear it, guys, but um, you can hear that sound. Let me try and actually pick us properly. Can you hear that? Mm. So that's uh, resonance, and that the means there is A, and that means that, that so, so the, the code is bloated, meaning that there is A which is distending the bowels. So mm-hmm. it bloats. What could be causing this kind of distension? So the next thing, we now know that it could be a diet that it ate or something else. So let's actually examine the goat. So we have to look at the mucous membranes. Can you see what the mucous membranes look like? And can you also tell us the age of this goat? So it's got four permanent teeth, so tell us the age. And then I get the guys to get another goat. Uh, And can you also look at these mucous membranes? So to all our viewers there, can you compare the one that you saw and this one? What could be the difference between the, the, the mucous membranes? This one and this one. What is the difference between the mucous membranes? And tell us the age of that other goat. And uh, you can clearly see that uh, the one on the right, that's the sick, that's the unwell one. And you can see that it's quite distended. And then the other one, it's normal. Okay, so let me let me tell you that answer. So right now what we are now doing is we are now giving it, uh, this is cooking oil, just the normal vegetable cooking oil. So remember we've noted that uh, it's distended and there seems to be some sort of obstruction. So it means the feces or the stool is not moving properly. So we've given that to try and soften up the stool so that it can move more freely so that we stop this uh, uh, we stop so that it will help actually reduce the the, the swelling of the ab- abdomen through if the feces start to move nicely it means that the stool will go out and there won't be this distension so this oil is just to help that process and then the second thing that we do is related to the answer of the difference between those two goals so the difference is one was pale and then the other one was pink. So the fact that it was pale, it was suggesting to us that there could have been a worm infestation in that goat. And those worms, if they are so much, if the worm burden is increased so much, these worms then now block the stool from, from passing, leading to also uh, that swelling of the abdomen, swelling of the gastrointestinal tract and leading to the challenges that we see. So that's uh, valbazin. So that's an albendazole. Uh, that's an albendazole dewormer. So we are giving the coat by mouth so that this could actually go and destroy or kill all those uh, intestinal worms, all those round worms, you know, all those worms that we've read about in school, all those worms, that's, that's what we want to target right now.
So we just give the single dose. And the hope is once we give that, what's actually going to happen is uh, the, the, the worms are going to die. And uh, because of the fecal softness that we've given, like the cooking oil, so once the worms die and the fecal softener also helps the, the stool to move easily, then this swelling or this distension can actually subside like that. And then there's one more thing that we are giving. We wanted to give blood guard, but we couldn't find it. So there's a home remedy that we used, and this is just brown vinegar. So we are also giving the goat uh, brown vinegar. So this vinegar it helps to improve the, the 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 conditions within the gastrointestinal tract because sometimes um, sometimes you know those conditions change because of what the goat has eaten or because of what's happening now. So once you give that vinegar, it then helps to to improve that environment and then the digestive enzymes could work well, and this could also help uh, in terms of getting the goat to, to the goat's digestive system to work again so those are the three things that we've done and this is now the goat so what we've done is we think that this is worm infestation severe worm infestation which has then led to uh, such a burden that now the stool was not able to move properly and that then led to what we have seen so our treatment was a dewormer uh, something to soften the stool and then also just some vinegar a home remedy to try and improve the, um, the, the the conditions within the gastrointestinal tract because some of these enzymes and digestive enzymes work better in certain conditions in terms of pH and um, so we would like to to do that but yeah so thank you for watching uh, I would love to know how many got that right in terms of whether it was pale or or pink so if you got it right just put it in the comments that you got it right if not i know next time so just make sure so for now we're just going to deworm all of them but thank you for watching these are the diaries of a goat farmer